everyone, it's Jessalyn. Welcome back to my channel. As you read from the title, I will be sharing with you guys a what's in my backpack. This year, I'll be a freshman in high school. Actually, I'm already a freshman in high school. School started like two weeks ago. And so far, it's so good. <laughs> I know I haven't been posting often and that's because I've been really busy with school. I kind of set myself up. Honestly, I, I, it just slipped my mind how busy I'll be with schoolwork since I applied to a school that is very prestigious. So I haven't been able to post like two times a week this week and last week, but um, hopefully I'll do better. As you can see, I'm wearing my Stanford hoodie that I got when I was at the Stanford campus. And I just want to clear up the confusion. I posted like a picture of me at Stanford and for some reason, everyone thought that I was going to Stanford which honestly is really sweet. I, I didn't think you guys would think that I'm that smart. But no, um, I just visited the campus, got some merch. If you didn't know, Stanford is my dream school, but for now, I'm, I just, I'm wearing this hoodie in hopes of manifesting it. Anyways, yes, I'm a freshman in high school, ninth grade. Don't know why everyone thought that I was in middle school still, but a lot of people were like, there's no way you're in high school. Stop lying, you're in middle school. I'm in high school, I don't know what to tell you, so. All right, that was a lot of rambling. Um, let's get into the video. You guys wanna see what's in my backpack, not about my school life. I'm sorry if the camera angle keeps changing. Whenever I like stop a recording, my camera just moves. In different directions um, and if you see me like looking like that right there that's because I'm looking at my monitor okay so this is the backpack that I'll be using this school year Woohoo! Um, this is a donut macaroon backpack some of you might recognize this from my donut macaroon video which I made a while ago I think like a year from now um, but yeah I was in eighth grade at the time and we were entering online school so I never really got to use this backpack or any of the other backpacks that they sent except for the miniature one I love that miniature one I use it all the time anyways if you want to go watch that video it'll also be in the eye right here but I've been using donut macaroon backpacks ever since I was in seventh grade and it's honestly one of my favorites I can never go back to any other brand that I used to um, use for my backpacks I'm loyal to donut macaroon now they have my heart <laughs> no this isn't a sponsored video or anything just my unbiased opinion about their backpacks they're really good okay so first let's talk about the backpack itself as you can see it is a very nice pastel green color I think people would call this sage green I know sage green was like really popular on TikTok, and as you can see I have my cookie keychain on here which kind of throws off the color since again the color is like super neutral and it's just pastel and green but I always have a keychain on my backpack um, and I have this BT21 from last, no, two years ago. I visited the BT21 store when it opened up in West Hollywood and I bought so much freaking stuff. I never even did a haul either. So that's kind of disappointing. Um, but this was something that I got from there and it's just, it's just cookie flying. Anyways, as you can see, there is one front pocket and then we have the main pocket. However, the main pocket has multiple, yes, you heard me, multiple pockets inside it's insane and you can fit so much stuff in there it's super super organized this backpack here is very wide as you can see you can fit a lot of stuff in here donut macaroon backpacks do have like this boxy type of figure kind of like the Konkin backpack it does have a wide opening so when you unzip the zippers and you can open it up you can see literally everything and you can take whatever you want out with ease. There's also leather accents and as you can see my leather accents on this backpack is green just to go with the backpack itself. Like everything's supposed to be the same color on the outside and um, I really like the leather accents. It adds a nice detail to it and you can tell like this is a really nice quality backpack. What's cool about the fabric yeah, this part, it's waterproof. So if you go to school and you bring your laptop or your iPad or just any device and it's like raining outside or if something spills on your backpack, it won't ruin the insides because it's waterproof and it doesn't like seep into the backpack if you know what I mean. Oh, also, I forgot to talk about the straps. Straps are the most important part. Their straps are designed to like help with your postures as well because I know like some people, um, especially when you're in high school, you carry a lot of stuff, like your textbooks, all of your binders, all of your notebooks, and it gets really heavy, so then when you're carrying your backpack, you kind of hunch over, and that's 
really bad for your posture. I have like terrible posture right now though, so I probably shouldn't be speaking, but this helps with your posture. It doesn't feel like it's, you know, weighing down your back to the point where you have to like hunch while you're carrying it. Um, it's great. Their straps are padded, which I love. And the reason why there's like buttons at the top of these straps is because when you adjust it, obviously we have this part, the bottom part of it. So when you adjust it all the way, and since this is really long, all you have to do is flip it into place and boom, you don't have to worry about like this annoying part. I forgot to mention there's also side pockets for your water bottle. Yeah, I thought I would just mention that. Okay. Let's talk about what I keep in my backpack. All right, first up, we're gonna talk about what I keep in the front pocket. So there's two ways that you can open this front pocket. Obviously the most common way is just unbuttoning the button closure, but I know some people, they unbuckle this whole part, like the leather part, just to open it. I th That takes longer. First up, we got my essentials bag, obviously. I have to have this with me at all times. Um, I have two separate essential bags. This one is just, you know, everyday stuff. And then the other one that I have is my period bag. But um, I only bring that when I know that I'll be needing it. So that's why it's not in this video. But if you guys want to see a separate video on how I put that stuff together, I think I did one like two years ago. Um, but if you want an updated one, then let me know in the comments down below. But this is just my essentials kit that has everything else that I'll be needing and it's clear that way I can see everything that's inside and it won't be hard for me to just grab something and go so first up hand sanitizer I have this spray one from Nordstrom I don't really know how to say the name on this bottle but my mom got a bunch from Nordstrom and this is CDC approved it smells like lavender it's great um, I prefer using like the spray on hand sanitizers over the liquid ones that comes in the bottle I've had so many bad experiences with that ever since I was younger every single time I brought like a liquid hand sanitizer it would just come out of the bottle and get into everything and it would just make a mess so I have opt for a spray hand sanitizer ever since again this smells really good you can just spray it onto your hands like that and rub it together bam your hands are clean next up we have some pieces of gum I know like we're wearing a mask most of the time but after I'm done eating I like my breath to smell nice so that way I can just you know get through the day wearing a mask for eight hours without it smelling gross. <laughs> Next up, I have some floss. This is an individually wrapped floss from Miniso. I had more, but I used it all. So now I only have this one. Another thing that's individually wrapped is some cotton swabs. Um, I have two of these in here just because you never know if you'll need some cotton swabs. Oh, here's some hair ties. I bring at least three with me for me and my friends. I always have to have hair ties with me because we have PE and then also like when we're eating. I don't like it when my hair gets in my face while I'm eating so I always tie up my hair. I also have this fragrance from Petite and Pretty. This is the Cloud Mine fragrance and this is the travel size version. There is a longer one that I have at home but I like to bring this one just because it's like small and portable. It's pretty much the same thing. It smells great and it doesn't like smell like weird perfume. Um, back when I was in middle school and like, you know, during PE, you could always smell like really bad perfume from like Victoria's Secret or something and it was just, it wasn't pleasant. So, um, I love using this fragrance. It's a rollerball fragrance by the way. So anyways, here is my lip balm. This is the gloss balm from Petite and Pretty. I've mentioned this like a thousand times. This is their clear one. It's in the shade Sell Out. Oh, I forgot to mention this. This is my toothpicker flosser thing it's reusable you can just like run it underwater after you're done using it and it's good to go for the next time you decide to get something out of your teeth here are some oil blotting sheets i have very oily skin um, my t-zone area is super oily and so is my chin for some reason my chin's getting really oily it's, it's weird but uh whenever like i'm producing too much oil on my face i just use this i take a sheet and then i blot it onto my face my face isn't that oily right now um, so I'm not gonna demonstrate, but I have demonstrated before in the past. Oh, I also have a bandage and an alcohol wipe. I had to use my extras last week because I got a mosquito bite, but I kept scratching it and then it started bleeding. So I had to, you know, use the bandaid for that and clean it with alcohol since I was scratching it with my dirty hands. 
gross. Uh, but I have these two left. I might restock later. You can also use this alcohol wipe to clean your phone or whatever. I don't normally clean my phone when I'm at school just because I know that it's gonna get dirty again when I put it on the table and stuff. This is some period stuff. This is for emergencies only. Again, I have a separate bag just for periods, but this is like an emergency thing that I always keep in here. Some wipes and a panty liner. That's everything that I keep in my essentials bag. Let me just put the rest of my stuff in here. Okay, moving along. So now that we got that out of the way, let's talk more about what I keep in here. So this is my extra mask. Um, I always keep this one in my backpack. I also have a portable charger. This is my super slim portable charger. It's the clutch charger. And I think my mom got this on Amazon. Um, uh, we have three colors, pink, black, and white. So the pink one's for me. Oh, here is something that I also can't live without. My AirPods, I always have them with me. One reason is because I like to listen to music during passing period and sometimes when I don't have classes with my friends. But also we are allowed to use our AirPods to listen to videos that they have us watch for like the lessons. Finally, we have my wallet. I keep it in the front pocket. Honestly, I don't think anyone's gonna steal my wallet. Hopefully not, but these buttons are kind of hard to just pull out. See? So if someone was like trying to steal my wallet, I would feel it, obviously. I always have my backpack with me at all times. I hate putting it in the lockers. I don't know, even though the lockers have locks, I still feel like someone's going to break into my locker and take my stuff. Yeah, I have my wallet in here, anyways. And I just have like some dollar bills for the vending machine room, some 20s, since we're able to go to the student union at the college campus to get like lunch and stuff. So I have that in here. I also have some gift cards, which I don't need for school, but I just have them in here because this is my wallet and I don't use this for school only. I use it for other stuff. I haven't gotten my student ID yet, so it's not in here. That is everything that I keep in the front pocket. Again, it's just like my essentials and things that I'll need like access to immediately. Oh, you're probably wondering where I keep my phone. I actually don't keep it in the front pocket. I keep it on one of the side pockets that's meant for your water bottle. Always keep my phone like on the side because it's just easier for me to pull it out and stuff. Plus, I always have my phone in my hands so I don't really have to worry about like putting it in here all the time all right so let's start with all the stuff that I keep in the main pocket as you can see the top here has these two handles and I think it's just to secure the top in case anyone tries to like open your backpack while you're carrying it because they can't really open it all the way or take big things out of your backpack since these two are here. Um, it's also a great way to hold your backpack like this in case you don't want to put it around your back. And I actually do that a lot. Like I'll just carry my backpack like this during passing period sometimes just because, you know, my classes are close together and I don't want to like put on the backpack and then take it off. I always carry it like that. And my backpack isn't that heavy, so bonus points, I guess. Again, this backpack does open very, very wide. Voila, look at how wide this is from top to bottom. Oh, but first off, let's talk about the inner pockets. I currently don't have anything in the inner pockets yet. I have no idea what to put in here um, because everything in my backpack is just like everything that I'll need. But this is a feature that I really like about the donut macaroon backpacks. You can fit so much inside, but I don't know what I would put in this whole entire area. Cause again, I already have like my essentials bag and everything else that I need in the front. But if you guys have any ideas on what you would put in here, then let me know. I forgot to mention that I am currently getting a new sunscreen. It's a, it's like a stick sunscreen from Supergoop because before I would use like this powder one that like sets your face and make you look less oily and it gives you SPF, but I ran out of that. So I have no idea what sunscreen I'll be using, but I'm thinking of getting the stick one. It looks like this. So I might even put it in the inner pockets right here or in the front. For now, it's empty and I don't have my sunscreen yet, but when I do get it, it'll either be in the front of my backpack or in one of these pockets. The first thing that is in here is my Panda Planner. Right now, obviously, I haven't written anything. I'm going to use this as like a planner, you know? I'll just write down assignments that I need to do, the due date, and then when I get home, I'll just write it down on my other planner. It also has different tabs, so I could even like take this out. It's like a sticky note, by the way. I could just take this out and then put it onto my planner. Okay, another thing that I got from Amazon is my pencil case. Yeah, I did a video on this. If 
you didn't see when you were clicking this video. But um, if you want to see what I keep inside my pencil case, then definitely check out that video. It'll be in the eye right here. I also did a video on like what pencil case is best for you. Um, and which ones were like my favorite and my least favorite that I found on Amazon. So if you want to check out that video as well, then it'll be in the eye right there. Two things that I added to this pencil case are some erase, uh, dry erase markers, which I'll need for math and physics. Yeah, again, if you want to see what I keep in here, then check out my what's in my pencil case video. Oh wait, I forgot to mention. I forgot I had this in here. As you can see, I decorated the case. I put some Pusheen stickers on here because the sticker with the label, it looked pretty depressing and sad. And um, I'm all about cute stationery, so I have this. And the reason why I have this, like, it's not really an emergency pencil case per se. It's more of like an essentials pencil case in case I don't bring this one. Or if I don't want to like take this whole thing out and just take the slimmer one out and you know use it then I can. And then here's the eraser. I haven't brought it out yet because I'm currently using the high polymer eraser but whenever I get the chance I will definitely try this out. But the reason why I called it an emergency pencil case is because again in case I forget my main one I can just use this. So moving along. Um, the next thing that I have in here is my notebook. This one is my math notebook. Um, I don't know if I'll be needing a notebook for Latin. She hasn't really mentioned anything about it. All of our notes are pretty much just like worksheets that we grade and then we keep in our binder to like, you know, study later. Um, so for now I'm using this as my math book. Let me just show you some stuff that we've been doing. It's just review, like, um, and then now we're moving on to like graphs and stuff, but I just use this to take notes and do my scratch work. My five subjects notebook and we are required to have a five subject notebook for English as you can see it's pretty thick I haven't decorated it yet I don't know what I should do to the front of this notebook let me let me know you guys um, and I'm currently using like these post-it notes to divide everything so I need to find like better dividers but for now I just have these like really 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 weird page tabs that I don't think are for dividing stuff and again I'm hoping to decorate this and make it look nice because a plain white notebook is really boring. Here is my composition notebook. Yes, they're pandas. And this is for my physics class. I haven't labeled anything yet. He requires us to have a composition notebook for physics. It's a binded notebook. I don't like binded notebooks, but um, again, we're required to have one for physics. Okay, second last thing in here is my musicianship folder. Musicianship is pretty much our music class. We do a lot of music work. I hope it doesn't get any harder, but this is the folder that they gave us to use for musicianship. And finally, we have my file folder that has all of my stuff for each of my classes. This is from Amazon, by the way. It came in a pack of five. So if I wanted to, I could bring all five with me and designate one for each subject. But this one has all five subjects and I did label it, but my label making machine, you can't really import your own font, so you have to like choose one of the fonts. And the font that it was like the most decent to me um, looks like that. It looks like I wrote it myself, kind of. Yeah, that's what it looks like. So I keep everything in here super organized. At the very back is where I keep all of my choir sheet music stuff. It's not labeled, but I mean, I know where it is already, so I don't have to label it. But once it does start getting full, I don't think I'll run out of room because this is an expandable folder and it could fit a lot. Trust me, it could fit a lot. <laughs> that is everything that I keep inside my backpack. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, give it a big thumbs up. Yeah, um, so this is pretty much what I keep in my backpack. Uh, for PE, I forgot to mention, we do have to dress out and like bring our clothes and stuff, but um, I use a separate bag for that, like my drawstring one. So let me know if you guys wanna see a video on how I pack my lunch, because I do have a separate bag for that and I pack my lunch almost every single day. So if, again, you wanna see that, then let me know. Also, the period kit video and any other video ideas that you might want to see from me. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Also turn on post notifications so you won't miss any videos. Also to be a part of the hashtag JG squad. I will see you guys next week hopefully. <laughs> Bye!